Okay, my very first real mission. I'm already missing my chain hooks on the four and one bucket, but I make do. I wrap that chain underneath, tied it to the lip there, and to the top of the implement. Now I'm gonna lift this out, and the, the real goal is gonna be to see if I can get it all the way in the back of the dump truck while keeping that back gate on. So let's see. All right, I had the creeper gear on, the highest of the creeper gears. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so I got the dump truck gate down. I got a little uh, half sheet of plywood for them cutting discs. I think I'll have enough room here. I mean, I could lower this gate all the way down, but the less I got to dink with it, the better, especially with my hips not feeling good right now. But let's see if we can get this thing on here and save a whole round trip from having to take the planter in the small trailer. Okay, that loader you could see is very rigid um, so that'll loosen up over time but here's another reason why I like that six foot bucket this one here is 74 or 75 inches but the six foot bucket fits almost everywhere now I have a little bit of space here well there's nothing on this side and there's maybe an inch or two on that side so uh, that six foot bucket is I'm, I'm already missing it, I guess is what I'm saying. So we're loaded up. Looks like uh, it'll close just perfect. So let's roll. Okay, we are loaded up on the trailer. Got the planter wedged in there really nice. Time for a first adventure. All right, I'm trying to hook up while I'm on the trailer to do this all at once. And I'm gonna tell you, without hooks on the bucket and without my four and one, this is a royal pain in the ass. You know, I'm trying to get that chain around underside, climbing in the implement. Guys, if you don't have hooks on your bucket, get them on yesterday. Let's see if I can figure this out. Ah, it's key, huh? 